Hello, my friends. I am your carnivore teacher, John Laspina, here on YouTube to talk about cholesterol. Again, I use this topic a lot in my talks. I got a comment from a viewer from the last time I talked about cholesterol, and uh, this person wanted me to elaborate on the fact that the industry and everybody claims that cholesterol always happens to be around inflammation in the body. And maybe cholesterol is causing this inflammation. Maybe cholesterol is causing placking in our arteries because where there's inflammation, there's a potential for cholesterol to, to come and to cause a plaque. So let's talk about that. Before I get started, click the thumbs up and share this video out to your favorite social media if you like this content. So first of all, Again, I said this in many of my other videos, I'm gonna do it again here, what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a vehicle that holds lipids, holds fat. When we eat fat and when our body generates the cholesterol, it encapsulates this fat, this lipid, in this thing called a cholesterol so that it can flow through our bloodstream, which is aqueous, and the cholesterol is aqueous. Inside the cholesterol is oil. You know how oil and water don't mix. So this cholesterol is basically just little taxi shuttles traveling through our bloodstream and dropping off lipids in all the places that, it, that they're needed for growth, for nourishment, for all the wonderful things that lipids do. Lipids are not just fat, and lipids don't make us fat. Lipids are nourishment. Lipids provide an ability to absorb vitamins A, D, E, and K. Let's talk about the inflammation part. The industry says that where there's cholesterol, there is inflammation. Well, part of that is true. One of the many jobs, many jobs of cholesterol is to be an agent to repair things, to, to make the myelin sheaths around our nerves and axons to make our cell membranes. It's part of the structure of all of our cells, to be honest with you. So it makes sense that if we have damage in our arteries, the cells on the inside of our arteries lining the inside are called endothelial cells. Endo means inside. And those cells get damaged when they get damaged inflammation occurs. Inflammation is your body's way of turning on the fire alarm and saying, alarm, 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 we've got problems here. We need the body to go and repair the damage. So cholesterol is one of many pieces of the puzzle that make a plaque to fix the area that got damaged so the blood doesn't go through the cracks so that it stays within the artery and flows through. You want that repair. That repair is a good thing. The only problem is when you're constantly damaging your own arteries with a substance that continuously makes damage in the arterial wall, then you're going to have a constant state of inflammation and a constant placking is going to occur. And part of that placking cascade involves cholesterol. And then that artery starts to get smaller and smaller and smaller because the damage in that artery, there's less room for the blood to flow through until that artery gets clogged and you either have a stroke in the brain or you have a cessation of the heart muscle because the blood can't flow through. What caused that inflammation? What caused that damage in that artery? It is chronic, excessive carbohydrates and sugar starch and sugar over a long period of time, damaging the endothelial cells continuously, repeatedly, over and over and over and over again from eating the standard world diet, which is full of starch, which is carbohydrates, which is a long string of glucose molecules and sugar from all the candy and cake and junk food and added sugar to foods. So yes, where there is inflammation, cholesterol tries to fix the damage. But what caused the damage? 
It was sugar glycation. There is no inflammation if there is no sugar glycation damage. And therefore, the healthy cholesterol that does all these other jobs in the body flows through that artery. It doesn't become part of the cascade of repairing something because there's no damage. So that's my answer to the question where there's inflammation, there's cholesterol. Well, yeah, there is. What's causing that inflammation? Chronic excessive carbohydrates and sugar over a long period of time. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this content, click the thumbs up and share this video out to your favorite social media. And I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I try to keep them short and to the point. Have a great day.